Hi guys, Alex Carr right here with Laughing Life Healing and I wanted to make a quick video today to talk to you guys a little bit about the difference between ego and intuition. I do a lot of gui guided meditations that at least contain an aspect of tuning into your intuition and I talk a lot about how important and empowering it is to foster a deep connection to your intuition. But I find a lot of people have a really hard time trusting themselves and trusting that it is their intuition that they're tuning into and not their ego. So I want to give you some tricks on and knowledge about how to tap in and realize which one it is that you're tuning into. So first up, the important thing to remember is that we are all made of energy. Everything is made up of energy. This shirt, my body, that picture frame, the furniture, every single aspect of this reality is 100% made up of energy. Now, that being said, even though this is all just one big pool of the same thing, obviously there's a little bit of a difference between me and that picture frame. We're having, we are energetic beings having a physical experience. If you talk to physicists, they can tell you that reality isn't actually real. It's all just a manifestation of energy. Now, I don't want to get too deep into that today, but it's important to remember because your ego, part of its big function is keeping you safe in this physical world. There are laws that govern the physical world and your ego wants to make sure that you are protected and that nothing is going to hurt you. Whereas your intuition is more in line with the reality that everything is one big pool of energy. And in that reality, nothing can harm you because energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only change form. So your first big clue about whether you are tapping into ego or intuition is whether or not the information is coming from a place of fear. If you are hearing a message and it is fear-based, I can almost guarantee you it's your ego. Now I'm not saying that you don't need to listen to your ego every once in a while, but if it's fear-based, it's your ego. It's not your intuition. Your intuition doesn't have fear. Now, another big clue is where the information seems to be coming from. Your ego lives very solidly in your head, whereas your intuition lives in your heart. Intuition has no need to explain itself. It just presents an answer to you. And if you take that answer, and learn whatever lesson it is that you need to learn in this present moment, hey, that's great. If you don't, well, that energetic pattern's gonna come back around and you'll have a chance to learn that lesson again. Your intuition isn't really worried about it. Whereas your ego, your ego will go on and on trying to justify all of the reasons that you should listen to it. It wants to provide facts and data and just gets really, really, really mired down in that. You know, very, very head-based intuition, very, very heart-based. Your gut feelings, those are part of your intuition. Your, when you just know something and you don't really know why, that's intuition. Now, a lot of people talk about, well, can't I, you know, I, I talk about how if you're not sure what your intuition is trying to tell you, just imagine you did know, what would it be? And some people argue, well, what if I'm just making up whatever I think I want to hear? Well, 
if you're thinking about it too much, yeah, you might be touching into your ego. If you're trying to defend and reason with whatever message you're receiving, yeah, it's, it, there's a good chance it might be your ego. But if you're just having something pop into your head and you don't know why, but it feels right, that's intuition. Your intuition doesn't have a clear way of communicating in this physical world. So it has to communicate through inner knowing and symbolism for the most part. This is a big reason that things like tarot cards and oracle cards and other divination tools are really super popular because they're a great way to get in touch with your intuition. You can look at the same oracle card on different days and have completely different interpretations of that card. Now that card may have like a specific meaning. Uh, for example, one of my favorite oracle decks that I work with is the Flower uh, Oracle deck by Tess Whitehurst. And for example, the Rose card. Rose is all about love and lo how love is the purest, uh, highest frequency form of energy. Now, one day drawing that card, it might instantly make me think of something in my life that is going on. And I know that my intuition is guiding me to that, applying it to that. Whereas another day, it's gonna, that aspect of that knowing of deep love is going to have a completely different meaning because whatever's happening in my life is completely different. I hope that makes sense. Symbolism is really, really powerful tool for your intuition. Your ego, your ego has no room for that sort of thing. Your ego wants to list out the facts and make the arguments and do what it wants to do, whatever it believes is going to be best for you in this physical world. One of the big reasons that it's often a lot more fruitful to listen to your intuition as opposed to your ego is the fact, like I said, with everything being energy, your intuition operates at an energetic level. It operates with the frequencies and the reality of everything being one and therefore it has access to everything on the energetic level. Knowledge, knowing, uh, it can look at all of the outcomes of everything because it is operating on that level of infinite possibility. Whereas your ego is limited by what you've experienced personally and what you have seen as the experiences of others on this physical plane. So I hope this helps you. Uh, I hope that you are excited to try out some meditations and get in tune with your intuition and really foster that, that connection because it is just one of the absolute most empowering lovely things that you can do for yourself. You can have so much healing come into your life when you allow yourself to listen to your intuition. All right, guys. Again, this is Alex Cartwright with Laughing Life Healing, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and continue to manifest joy in your life.